Can someone please explain to me how to tip in America? Because I don't get it, right? For example, in England, where I'm from, tipping is seen as optional. And to an extent, right, it's seen as a convenience. Like if I'm eating out and my bill came to £48 or 31 pence, I'll just leave £50 on the table. Or more realistically, I'd pretend like I forgot my wallet at home and I'd hope my friend leaves £50 on the table. But again, the tipping's more of a convenience. I just want to get up from my table, get in my car and go home. I don't care about the 169, right? But in America, it seems like tipping is pretty much mandatory. And not only is it mandatory, but you get judged if you don't. Like people will actually think that you're cheap for not leaving a tip. Like for example, did you just have a great date with a girl that you really like, but forgot to leave a tip? Well congratulations mate, she now thinks you're a I don't get the problem. I ate at your restaurant and the bill came to $20, alright? Therefore, you asked me for $20, and as per your exact request, I gave you $20. And I'm somehow an asshole for that. This is $20 cash! What are you mad for? You're basically mad because I didn't just give you more money for no reason. Because that's what tipping is. It's just giving people free money, isn't it? Like, why would people want to do that? How did the practice of giving people free money for no reason whatsoever become so popular? Like, what, what's wrong with us? And the thing that makes even less sense, right, is that in most parts of the world, we pretty much only do it at restaurants. What makes restaurants so special? Why don't we do it anywhere else? Like, for example, whenever I get my electricity bill or my phone bill, right, I pay exactly the amount stated on it. And what's more than that, right, I would not dream of paying more, right? Not a penny, not a penny more. So given that, why do people always pay extra when the restaurant gives us a bill? That doesn't make any sense. And also, right, it's the norm to tip at every single restaurant. Like, it's not just the small mom and pop's restaurants, right? I could go to one of Gordon Ramsay's rip-off restaurants in London with it charging 30 quid for an appetizer and I would still be expected to leave a tip to this millionaire restaurateur. How did this become the norm? But listen, I might be missing something, right? Let's hear him out, right? Let's give him a chance. So tell me, Gordon, why should people tip? Let's hear some of his reasons. If we provide good service, you should leave a tip. No, no, no. When you go to the grocery store to buy food, if the cashier is nice to you, you never leave her a tip, do you? Exactly. So for some reason, the system's like this. Grocery store, no tip. But restaurant, tip. But waiters and waitresses don't earn enough. It's not my responsibility to pay their salary, is it? That's their bosses. Complain to him that you don't get paid enough, not me. But great, they work hard, they deserve a tip. Listen, I used to work as a teacher, right? Not only did I work hard, but I worked hard as f And with all due respect, my job as a teacher was a lot more important than any job in the restaurant industry. But despite that, right? How come no one ever gave me a tip? Huh? You think you deserve a tip for putting on a fake smile for me and carrying my curly fries from the kitchen to my table? If anyone deserves a tip out of the two of us, it's me! But here's the thing, right? Despite everything I've said in this video so far, I would recommend that overall, you should still probably leave a tip. What? But Groot, after saying all of that, why? Because, right, these people are the people who make your food. If you don't tip, you'll soon build a reputation as being that guy who doesn't tip. And do you know what'll happen after they see that guy who doesn't tip coming to the restaurant again? <laughs> exactly! You'll get your food spat in. Or even worse... Because realistically, a tip isn't really a reward for good service. Tipping is more of a, please don't spit in my food the next time bribe. So if there's a restaurant that you like and that you want to go to regularly, you better tip. And if there's a restaurant that you already go to regularly but don't tip enough at, sorry to tell you, mate, but odds are you've probably had more of the chef's saliva in your mouth than your girlfriend's. But it's not just in restaurants, right? In some places like America, tipping gets even worse. For any newcomers to America, you might be asking yourselves, who are the people to tip, mate? As far as I know, it's your waiter or waitress, your taxi driver, and even your pizza delivery man. What? My taxi driver and my pizza delivery man? That's so random. And I have to tip the valet guy as well. By the way, America, why is valeting even a thing? 
I'm not gonna give you a tip for parking my car, mate. I can park my own car, thanks. If I wanna eat food, I have to tip the person serving me. If I wanna eat the food at home instead, I have to tip the f***er delivering it to me. If I wanna eat out, I have to tip the that drives me there. And if I drive there myself, I have to tip the retard who drives it 10 yards and parks it for me. Jesus Christ, man. I think I'll just go hungry and starve instead. But here's something that I don't understand at all. To leave a tip has now become somewhat of a standard, all right? But to not leave a tip is seen as some sort of powerful statement. Gee, there's Luke not tipping on account of poor service. I'm out. That's not a statement of any sort at all. Oh, this restaurant is the worst. My food took two hours to arrive and my son had an allergic reaction and is now dead because the peanut-free salad had peanuts in it. Right, that does it. No gift of free money for you. Ha <laughs> ha! Revenge is sweet. How is that a statement? Do you know what I do when I get bad service from a restaurant? I don't just not leave a tip, right? I f***ing dine, I f***ing dash, and I f***ing never go back there again. But here's the craziest thing about tipping. As far as society is concerned, right? Even on special occasions like birthdays and anniversaries, I have to give my loved ones like my friends and my family gift cards instead of money because cash is not seen as an acceptable gift to give someone, right? But I'm expected to give random people like my waitress and my taxi driver, who I don't know at all, free cash for no reason whatsoever. That's retarded, man. That is so stupid. Who thought this stupid system up? And also, right, even after having said some of these what might be considered logical arguments against the concept of tipping, it's such a standard nowadays that I bet plenty of you watching this video are just thinking, you're such a cheap grade. Well, in that case, tipping and you as well.